So tell us about your injuries. What what exactly happened? So we were we were driving. We live uh, in Indiana in a little country area, heavy heavy farming community, and the man the. The tractors out here are big, you know, the, the farm equipment, they, they take up both lanes and more of the, of the little two lane roads. And we were going one way, the tractor's coming the opposite direction. He has a small line of cars gone, you know, behind him patiently waiting. And, you know, they only go 10 or 15 uh, miles an hour. And, uh, and we could see ahead of us, Indiana's flat and the roads are straight. I could see ahead of me a, a mile and a half and behind me a mile and a half no one in my lane in front of me or behind me. And as I passed those, those cars, as I was passing the last car in line, uh, they were, you know, as I was going off the direction that my car, there was a flash of black and it had exploded. Uh, a woman that was, uh, under the influence of marijuana hit the last car in line with her foot on the gas, 55 miles an hour and drove that last car over the yellow line right into us head on. Never saw it coming. I mean, the pain was so immense and this was so surreal. It just didn't seem like it just was fake. And the first thing I thought was I was dreaming. And I thought at any moment I'm going to wake up because man, the pain is bad. Right. And you get to a point in your dreams where you say, wow, the pain's really bad and I'm going to wake up. Right. And that I wasn't waking up. And then I realized that I couldn't breathe. I mean, this is a story of absolute miracles, miracle after miracle. And these were miracles that didn't start that day. A lot of these miracles, man, they came into my life decades before the Lord placed these miracles, decades before my life, because I was going to need them on that day. And I didn't put that together at the time, but now I look at it and I see how I was a man that thought that God was out there somewhere, right? And that he didn't really interfere or work in our lives. And now I can tell you that he works in our lives, every moment of every day, never stops, always intervening, always working, always guiding. So I didn't know that at the time. But one thing I did know was I knew I wasn't going to die. See, when I was in that wreck, when I was trapped there, I was, was almost looking at myself like I was somewhere else and I was stuck, that I, that I was stuck somewhere else and I was half here and half there. But I knew, I knew, and it wasn't, it wasn't like, it wasn't shock and it wasn't uh, denial. I knew I wasn't going to die. I knew I was going to live. And the only thing I can attribute to is like a God knowing. I knew I, I was going to be okay. <laughs> I was the only person, I can assure you, on site and in the hospital that knew I was going to be okay because the doctors were pretty sure scratching their heads. When we finally, you know, they life flighted me to, again, another miracle, 